Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Driveway Detail. What we have on the schedule for today is a 2012 Dodge Journey in for a full detail. And this one has a lot of pet related issues going on with it. So, I mean, just about anything you can imagine, it's probably my worst ever pet related, you know, detail. Um, anything you can imagine, like I said, from chewed up carpet to spilled dog food, dog puke, dog hair, all around the vehicle. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's go ahead and get started on it. So first things first in this detail, we're just gonna get the entire outside cleaned up. Nothing crazy, just like a basic exterior wash. We're not gonna be doing any waxes or anything like that. And as you can see, the exterior of this vehicle wasn't too bad. It obviously could have used a quick wash, um, but the real work is gonna take place on the inside of this vehicle. So we have one last thing to do before we can move on to the inside of this car, and that is going to be to get these floor mats cleaned up. Um, what I use to clean floor mats is super clean degreaser diluted in my pump spray at a four to one ratio. And that usually makes pretty quick work of cutting through any kind of dirt and grime that might be on the floor mats, especially once you agitate it with a brush. And once we have the floor mats cleaned up and sitting out in the sun to dry, we'll go ahead and jump on into the interior. And like I said before, this car on the inside, it has a lot of dog related issues. One of those being dog hair. When it comes to pet hair or dog hair, um, it can be kind of a hassle to vacuum because the hairs will actually become embedded into the carpet. So for this reason, I like to use the Lily brush and that kind of gets it broken up and brought to the top of the surface to be easily vacuumed up. 
There's a couple other products on the market similar to the Lily Brush. Um, I don't really know the names of them. I use the Lily Brush just because it's been around for the longest time. Um, I'm sure the other ones work good too. I just haven't had a chance to have hands-on experience with them. So if you have pets or anything like that and you struggle with having pet hair all over your car all the time, I definitely recommend that you check this out. I'll go ahead and link the Lily Brush down in the description below so you guys can check it out. Um, but you know, having pets can kind of be a love-hate relationship when it comes to things like this. Mostly love, of course, but um. That kind of ties into the question of the week and i mean it can only be proper to have it pet related due to this car um so let me know down in the comment section below what type of dog you have and if you don't have a dog what kind of pet do you have And our last bit of work to do with the vacuum is going to be to go around and use a detail brush to brush out these cracks and crevices on the door panel and the dash area. Um, you know, when doing this, it's you're not really looking for 100% clean perfection, obviously. What you're trying to do is you're trying to limit how much um, dust and stuff you have to clean off once you start cleaning the actual panels thoroughly. But once this is done, we can move on to what I think is most of you guys' favorite part, and that is shampooing the seats and the carpets. Um, with this vehicle in specific, the seats happen to be more dirty than the carpet, so um, I know you guys love to see this stuff, so I made sure to include all the seats. They definitely all had some pretty strange colors coming out of them, so I hope you guys enjoy it.
And then once the seats and the carpets are shampooed, our next step is going to be to clean off all the door panels, the dash, um, any kind of plastic surfaces, and to also get them UV protected. And this portion of the detail tends to go pretty quick compared to shampooing carpets. Um, just to kind of put into perspective, um, cleaning off the plastics and stuff like that usually takes about an hour, hour and a half in most cases, whereas the carpets and the um, seats can take up to around five or six hours. So a lot of people don't really realize how much time goes into that. And on a quick side note, I'm kind of a firm believer that no matter what you do and how good you get at it, there's always room to expand and learn more, whether it's detailing or creating YouTube videos. So I'm curious to know if any of you guys have any recommendations or suggestions on what I can do to make these videos more pleasing and appealing for you guys. So if you have any, let me know down in the comment section below. And the last and very final step of this car before it's ready to hit the road again is going to be to get all this dog drool cleaned off the inside of the windows. And as always guys, I really appreciate you all for watching. And if you'd like to support the channel, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. By subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell notification, you'll be sure to never miss any of my future detailing videos. Be sure to stick around for just a little bit longer so you have a chance to see how this car turned out. And I will catch you guys in a couple days for Thursday's video.